Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to be refinishing some black American walnut worktops. Just for clarification, I am now a brand ambassador for Ruby and Monaco. Um, I have not been asked to make this video. These views are my own, uh, although I will be receiving um, monetary values for the, doing this video. So a couple of years ago, before I even really knew about Ruby on a coat, I did my worktops in a Unica finish and I've really not been happy with them since day one for such a beautiful wood. Um, I didn't use the Rubio because I knew there was a lot of bad ideas and thoughts over using walnuts with the Rubio on a coat. Um, I've since found out that you can. The other question a lot of people have is, can you refinish a previous used worked up with Ruby on a coat. So again, we're going to explore that in this video. Now, with being in the UK, I've got to have a registered gas safe person to take out the hob and also reinstall a new hob that I've got because this one's in fact broken. Um, so that's going to happen. I'm going to take the kitchen sink out. But first off, while that's all been done, I'm going to put some tannin solution onto a really badly damaged area over there and we're going to do a little time lapse to show you that you can, in fact, use the tannin remover to get out these black stains on other products just that haven't been treated with Ruby Monaco in the first place. So let's go ahead and get all that done. wider than the existing one. I've gone ahead and cut that out with a plunge saw and also the multi-tool and a lot of swerving. Now to do the sanding I'm going to be mainly using the Festival Rotex 125 for this lovely hand attachment from Illegal Tools. Again that was a gifted item. Um, it just makes it a lot more comfortable for myself with having a severe shoulder injury. Um, to get into the corners I will be using a card scraper and also a little hand sanding block making sure you go with the grain so you don't cause any um, scratches basically. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll work through 80, 120, 150, 180 and get the entire thing sanded. So as you can see that's all sanded out to P180. Uh, I think it took me about three hours all in all to work my way through the grits and make sure it gets nice and clean. Uh, to take off the excess dust I like to use the wood prep and I've put this spray bottle trigger in it just so I don't, I don't saturate the area too much. So it's just a case of spraying some on and wiping off the excess. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. How much is coming off that as well? So what we do now is we leave this for about 15 20 minutes it'll take to dry. So we need to let it fully dry, then we're going to dean a bit and apply some of the Rubio Monaco Pure Oil 2C Plus. Um, now, the t one time I have used it on black walnut before is when I, and I realised I thought it looked a little bit flat with one coat, so we are going to give it a second coat in 24 hours. So in the comments down below, I want you to let me know for the one coat or the two coats on these worktops what want to be finished. The wood prep is now dried, so we're going to go ahead and mix up the Rubio Mono coat. As I said, I'm using pure, um, so I'm going to use the little mixing cup as well, which has the actual amount, so a bit like an automotive cup. So just go ahead. You mix it in a three to one ratio. Mix it a little bowl because I don't like putting it directly onto the workpiece, although I know you are meant to be able to do so. You may need to do a small piece, and literally all we're going to do is scrub it in with the grain and just watch this piece of 
Where the black walnut come to life? Put plenty on, leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll go over it with a lint-free cloth and just wipe off any excess that may be there. So I'm just going to go now and carry on and do the rest of the worktops. So as you can see, you can quite easily sand back another worktop that's been treated in a different type of finish previously and then refinish with the Rubio Mono Coat. Now, this has got one had the one coat on. In my opinion, it does, as I say, it does go a little bit flat once it's dried. So I'll do some shots now and then we'll come back. I'm going to give it a second coat tomorrow. So to prepare for the second coat, I used a red sanding pad, white with a tack cloth and apply the oil 2C in the normal manner. And then I really do think the second coat has really made it pop, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching.